The U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said that the United States is imposing sanctions on eight individuals for their ties with Palestinians, Hamas, which launched an attack on Israel on October 7th. The U.S. also imposed sanctions on four entities with connections to Hamas or other designated terrorist organizations. Joining us on the broadcast is Major Mohammad Ali Shah. He's a defense expert. Good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining in on NewsX. Now, of course, US is taking a proactive step with these sanctions. What do you make of this, sir? Well, yes, uh, US has uh, themselves been a victim of terrorism. 9 11, 2001, everyone, the whole world knows that they had a, they suffered a very dastardly attack by Al Qaeda, by Osama bin Laden, which was headed by him. In fact, uh, suicide attack, which is so they know the pain. Now, Hamas did uh, an attack, a similar attack, and many people have gone to the extent of saying that it was a, worse than 9 11 of a greater magnitude. In fact, the more casualties of which were suffered over here. So, US knows that pain. So, US has definitely they have banned Hamas, and now they had banned Hamas a long time back, and they had declared it a terrorist organization. Now, anyone who deals with Hamas, anyone who has ties with Hamas, U.S. will uh, put sanctions on them, and I think, uh, rightly so, that's, that's perfectly, perfectly fine. But uh, the very fact is, U.S. should be very, very careful over here. Like, for example, U.S., the President Joe Biden was to go to Amman in Jordan. And uh, he was to uh, meet certain leaders over there, global leaders of uh, Arab countries as well. And uh, But then that did not happen. That meeting was cancelled because it was little time that Joe Biden decided to go to Israel and to uh, the capital of Tel Aviv and uh, there after he in fact gave uh, Israel a clean shit on the bombing of the hospital and he said it was done by an Islamic uh, uh, rocket which is fair enough if he uh, gives but then at the end of the day US again has to be very very careful they are walking a very tight rope as to not to add fuel to the fire like the way it has happened it's continued to be made to happen in a russia ukraine war so it has to be now the current requirement is of humanity humanitarian aid requires i mean it has to be india sent uh, an aircraft to palestine in fact with uh, a lot of uh, human aid in fact so what is the need of the hour a ceasefire is the need of the hour and because a gun will only bring pieces will never bring peace so, uh, most certainly, I think the uh, when the U.S. put sanctions on uh, on uh, people who uh, associate with the, with Hamas, Hamas and Hamas has a large strength of thousands. I don't know, I mean, 30, 40, I don't know how much is the strength. I don't know. It is uh, so Hamas is definitely a very very uh, large in uh, population, but this was uh, uh, I would call it a gang. Which was made as a, as a which, was, which was established by these by the by the Israelis to fight against the Soviets, and which was a catapult army, I would call it. Now they have learned paragliding and whatnot, and high tech rockets, and they're operating with all that, and they are reaching the borders of a country which was supposed to be known as the high the uh, the most advanced in technology and highly secured, and uh, there was a compulsory military training in that. But now all said and done, the bottom line is. I would conclude by saying, no matter what happens, like what happened on 7th October, the Hamas did a terrorist, a dastardly attack on Israel. Similarly, whenever, whoever, irrespective, damages, causes casualties, kills innocent civilians, women, children, elderly, I would still call that as a terrorist attack. And uh, a collateral damage, in a collateral damage, what happens? You can get the target, but okay, accept it. But you cannot, uh, they cannot be over 7,000 casualties. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.